Alrighty, so this is Decent We The People News. One more time at it, alright? We never look straight forward, we always look around us, be able to protect ourselves by any, any means necessary, right? So, there's a couple of things here. As you can tell, over here is a follow-up with Susan Bassey, actually a true journalist. When I push that, it's going to run through it, so I can't pause it right in the middle of it. For some reason, they don't do that. But... I did a comment on this one. Here's the deal. Okay. Uh, just in case you, haven't, you guys did not hear it. Or seen it. Uh, he got alleged speeding. And the cop pulled him over. Gave him a ticket. And then stand right in the middle of the road. Basically the cop was saying. Back up and go around me. While he's impeding traffic but trying to force him to go around. So the guy in short saying, hey, uh, move the blank out of my way. Watch it and you'll see it, okay? Um, the judge ordered him that to apologize or spend 30 days in jail to the officer in Alabama. Well, the judge don't have no authority, which goes back into what? My last few videos about them. Okay. He did not have authority to do so. And people are starting to get a little pissy about what that judge said. All right. But. I had to bring it up. Because. <laughs> the good old mighty spirit of bond us and around us and all that. They say, hey, I did these couple of little things for you to kind of tie into the. Things you're talking about. The corruptions. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> I digress. Let's uh, check out that video of Susan Bassey, the real journalist. Our public interest. So your request isn't going to be granted. I, I'm a journalist. This is newsworthy. And I'm going to stand here and I'm going to record who's going in and out of there and what conflicts of interest are created by this club that are never disclosed by the judges you guys appear before. This is Susan Bassey with another Silicon Valley bar card carrying briefcase wielding AI attorney who was a member of Ends of Court and doesn't think that the public has a right to know. So here's a little battle between lawyers and journalists. And this is an event that has been paid for with some taxpayer and dollars. People. Jay Borski actually gets approval from Jeff Rosen to pay his membership fees for Inza Court. And so the public has paid for a portion of this dinner and the Chief Justice of the California Supreme Court is scheduled to be here and that's a matter of public interest. So your request isn't going to be granted. Matter of public interest. So <laughs> She's a little spitfire, people. <laughs> Check her YouTube channel out, okay? Uh, she's been dealing with this for years, okay? And yes, they have retaliated against her, and she, she's still doing it. So, in my mind, she's victorious, and she doesn't stop. All right? Uh, anyway, uh, this is Decent We The People News. Let's just kind of actually got a little time on here. Your warrants issuing an apology to the officer. Well, let's go back to that part right here. On June 4th for a hearing in the case, that is when he expects to go to jail. He has already arranged with his mother and his children's mother to take care of them in his absence. Isn't that sad? That a family man and a father of two has to make arrangements for his children to be taken care of because the injustice system has decided, hey, if you don't do this right here, apologize to a feelings hurt cop, we're going to take away 100% of your freedoms and throw you into a cage. That's, this is our reality. Unbelievable. It's almost like we live on the set of the idiocracy being directed by Rod Serling from The Twilight Zone.
His attorney said in an interview that Burks might file a lawsuit in the case. That's unlikely to happen before his hearing. If I did something to offend him or bodily harm him in any way, I would apologize, said Burks. But I didn't do anything to this officer besides curse, if you can even call it that. And there's no law saying that I can't curse or speak my mind. And there is a law, it's supposed to be called the supreme law of the land, that says you have every right, you have an unalienable right to speak your mind. It's called speech, and it's not supposed to be infringed upon. Leave your thoughts about this. All right. So there was a little bit of that added to this. Now, I did a comment in there of, of a comment, a comment, okay? Uh, you know what? Let's see if it actually showed up on his channel. I never thought about doing this before, y'all. Uh, there we go. Let's see here. Comments. Okay. Here I am. Uh, uh let's see here. <laughs> you got to add why was there an officer impeding traffic and not moving out of the of the way right uh, let's see impeachment this is what I was kind of want to look at <laughs> let's see here I don't do this every day y'all so here I is we do need to we do need to do a, a petition to our legislature, okay, and direct them how to impeach these incorrupt grudges, which past video, oh, well, hell, <laughs> my video slowed, or completely stopped, well, maybe I got that wrong, <laughs> whoopsie, ah, like I said, I don't do this every day, okay, be patient with me. Oh, my goodness, G. Louise. All right. Let's go back over here. Comments. Uh, where was it? Okay. Patient with people news. Uh, impeachment. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see right there. All right. Uh... But, and this guy right here said so basically, you know, uh, okay, I misread. All right, because that works. Well, uh, understand this, people. The reason why it don't work is because we're not doing it. <laughs> of course it's not going to work if you're not doing it. All right, um, let's see here. Uh, open uh, Okay. Like I said, I don't do this every day, okay? And my apologies, but uh, in essence, uh, maybe it was down in here. No, nope. okay. I'm trying to help you guys out a little bit. Let's see here. Go all the way up here, I think. Uh, I don't know how to open all these things up. Anyway, so in essence, and I apologize since I'm ignorant of this, <laughs> but I told him, you know, hey, file a criminal complaint and take it to the nearest magistrate or take it to the prosecutor and direct them to give it to the grand jury it don't matter. Judges, cops, whatever, right? Yes, they're probably not going to do nothing. Why? Because not enough of us is doing it. Number one. Number two, all you're doing is just kind of saying, hey, we're not just your average people anymore. We're getting tired of your nonsense, and we're going to start to be a thorn in your side, right? So, uh, take it to the prosecutor. With a witness, by the way, that you hand it to the prosecutor. And 
give it direct orders to give it to the grand jury and have him put in, um, I say signature, but it's not really a signature. It's your initials, right? And I had that initial sent back saying they received it, okay? If they don't do it, what are we going to do? Follow up, okay? Uh, we're doing an investigation of criminal activity, right? My past video said we got to uh, investigate them as they investigate us, right? So if they cause us harm and, you know, we're going to file criminal complaints on them. But we're going to do it through the legal process, the lawful process, or however you want to do it, right? Uh, I'm not going to send a criminal complaint to the chief of police's bosses of their employees. I'm going to bypass that. It's been shown over and over and over. They don't do nothing. They investigate themselves. I'm going to send it to the magistrate. If that don't work, then I'm going to send it to the prosecutor. If that don't work, then I'm going to send another criminal complaint against the prosecutor back to the magistrate to guess what? Say, hey, he's not giving this to the grand jury. He do, uh, violated my due process of being harmed. And, uh, you know, again, they're not going to do nothing because most of us is not doing it. One man is not going to do no good. All right? Government fights back. But like I said in there, and I'm just using it because it's just victorious, but the Black Lives Matter. If everybody actually filed a criminal complaint on these judges and prosecutors and all that and got together and did this instead of hitting the streets, guess what? That's on record. Okay? That is going to affect their insurance, especially when you have thousands of them done. They have insurance, people. It's going to affect their insurance. Now, one person or one man may not affect their insurance. But when you're talking about thousands or hundreds, yeah, it's going to affect their insurance. Especially if you find out who the insurance carrier is and send the same complaint to them. <laughs> and it's a pain in the butt, people. But if we sit and do nothing and expect the different results, what is that called? Right? That's just nuts. Crazy. Looney bin. All right? So, we can keep doing what we're doing and get nowhere. Or, you guys can think outside the box. Okay? Never look straight forward. Always look around you. Be able to protect yourself by any means necessary. When you do these things, absolutely make sure using the criminal codes... <coughs> that fits what they've done to you. You don't want to go in there and lie. You're on and for on the record. Okay, that's just like a lie to a cop. All right, this will be the people news. Bye, y'all.